Hello listeners, in this chapter we will discuss about the endocrine function of ovary. This is a rough diagram of female gonads of the ovary. And from the structure we get detailed knowledge of the structure of ovary. And uh, this is the primordial follicle. Here the different stages of the follicles are mentioned. This is the primordial follicle. This is the primary follicle. The secondary follicle. The mature follicle. The graphene follicle. Which composed of two cellulars, the outermost layer is known as theca externa, whereas the inner layer is known as theca interna. This is the point of ovulation where the oocyte is boosted out from the mature follicle, and this is the scar tissue formed after the ovulation. The scar tissue is known as carpal gluteum. And this is a temporary endocrine gland and it has several important functions which you'll know about. We'll know about it later on. And this is the corpus albicans, which is the degenerating form of the corpus luteum. Now the ovarian hormones. Two important hormones, estrogen and progesterone, are secreted from the ovary from the different parts. The estrogen hormone, the source of estrogen. The estrogen is secreted from the thickal cells of the growing or the mature follicle, which is also known as the graphene follicle, which I have shown in the previous picture. The function of estrogen is very important. Estrogen helps in development of primary and secondary sexual characteristics, like development of ovary, development of uterine part, uh, formation of actual hair, etc. The next function of estrogen are regulation of menstrual cycle. The reproductive cycle of human are the primates known as menstrual cycle is actually controlled by the estrogen. Estrogen also helps in breast development. It helps in deposition of fat in the buttocks region of the female body. It's a unique characteristic which only may observe in females only. Now the next important harm is progesterone hormone. The source of progesterone is carpus luteum. It's actually the scar tissue formed after the ovulation from the graphene, the mature follicle, which I've seen in the previous picture. Now, the functions. The first function is development of female specific primary and secondary sexual characteristics, which I have mentioned earlier in estrogen. Now, the next important function is male synthesis, which is actually uh, performed in the female lady only. Uh, it also helps in maintenance of the uterus, the inner layer of uterus, which is known as endometrium. As it helps in the development of endometrium, it also helps in implantations of embryo just after fertilization. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video. For testing your understanding of this lesson and more videos, log on to www.tubelations.net.